The 2018 hurricane season is less than two months away, and this morning we are getting our first look at the forecast. The Colorado State's forecast was released in the last two hours, and forecasters are expecting a slightly above average season. A total of 14 storms are expected this year. Seven of them are predicted to become hurricanes. Three are forecast to become major hurricanes, meaning a Category 3 storm or higher. You can read the entire forecast on our website at clicktohouston.com. It is right on the home page. Now, the one thing that most of us, of course, are wondering is what all of this means for the Houston area after Harvey. Meteorologist Eric Brake joining us now to fill us in. Well, this forecast that came out today was from uh, Phil Klotzbach, who's basically a resident expert in terms of hurricane forecasting. And this is what he's come up with. The numbers that you gave, 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major storms. Here are the average numbers in a typical year. 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and two major storms. So as uh, Jennifer and Andy mentioned, it is only slightly above normal. Now, there are always some uncertainties associated with this. This is what Dr. Klotzbach is anticipating for the Gulf Coast, about a 38% chance for some sort of landfall along the U.S. Gulf Coast, 39% along the Atlantic Coast, East Coast, all the way down to Florida. That does include the Gulf Coast of Florida. Now, one of the big questions is El Nino. And El Nino, which is warm water in the equatorial Pacific just off of South America down here, warm water down there tends to hamper hurricane season. It makes unfavorable upper-level winds, so hurricanes have a hard time forming. That's a question. We don't know whether an El Nino is going to form. The second question is cool water in the Atlantic Ocean. You need water 80 degrees or above at depth. A lot of pent up energy to fuel hurricanes. This is another of the questions. Will the Atlantic be warm enough to really sustain an above normal season? So these are questions that need to be worked out as time goes on and they will impact the number of hurricanes that we get. Here's what you need to know though. They are anticipating a busier than normal season. It only takes one storm to hit where you are to have a devastating impact. So here's what you need to do. Have a plan. The hurricane season is a couple of months away. Figure out what you're going to do in terms of a hurricane, whether you need to evacuate, get your papers ready, get your medications ready, know exactly what you're gonna do. A lot of people around here are very, very anxious for the hurricane season. The best thing you can do is have a plan that will ease your anxiety. We'll talk about our forecast, certainly no tropical weather in our forecast. It's coming up a bit later this half hour. In fact, I think you're gonna like our forecast coming up.